<laughs> I don't know. I think. I'll try to figure it out during this game. Anyway, they, game they time, baby. Moving. All right, so we've got Robin versus WeFit coming in on PS2. The classic starter, Louis Jesus, is the, uh, the WeFit as per usual. All right. So what does our, our resident WeFit think about uh, the Robin matchup? The resident WeFit player thinks he's got to finish uploading the previous set. Oh, okay. But as far as this matchup goes, honestly speaking, uh, Robin kind of plays like Roy Light in that they like to swing and swing and swing and swing. Like, you know, you know, like Roy plays, right? Robin does yeah. that too, just not as good. But because her forwarder has no cooldown, she can do double aerials like all the time and horrifying. As well as up here just hitting behind her. Yeah, I feel like Robin gets to be a kind of a different kind of aggressive just because of how insanely lingering their moves are. Mm -hmm. And already Kisu putting in a lot of work, already taking Louis Jesus' first stock. Louis Jesus. But, but at the end of the day, she is Roy Light. She's not quite as strong and she's very slow compared Ooh. to Roy. I don't know about that. That Elwin just took Kisu across the entire stage. Oh, I don't think that counts. Oh, well. <laughs> All right. Another back air. Going to be putting uh, Louis Jesus off stage. Nice header from the ledge. Putting Louis Jesus back in the driver's seat. Potentially setting up a ledge trap. But no. And, uh, Arc Thunder into grab. Setting Kisu up for the kill. Kisu still sitting on their first stock. Getting a fat heal as well. That just healed up that entire Sun Salutation worth of damage. But not going to be saving Kisu for too long. And finally seeing Louis Jesus throw out the Crouch, which I feel like is huge in this particular matchup. I feel like Crouch invalidates a lot, if not all of uh, Robin's projectiles, save for maybe a well-spaced uh, arc fire. Crouch is very integral in this matchup. Fully agreed. It also goes under Robin's throat grab. Whoa. Ooh. And Louis Jesus just bringing things right back with a really well-placed header after what seemed like Kisu just, uh, the, the Kisu train just wasn't stopping, but Louis Jesus bringing it to uh, even stocks right now and looking to bring it to even percentage as well. Right, nice frame trap using that. Neutral air right there. But Luigi's at the ledge, but Luigi's is able to get deep breathing online right now. Has book in hand. I don't know if Luigi's going to be doing much with it. Did start to set up something there with the header, but now off stage again. The actually the hit stop of the soccer ball put Kisu in a bad position. Meaning Luigi's was able to now set up for a ledge trap of his own and is going to be able to get it with the up smash. When inserting yourself, remember to keep reading. So, yeah, a, a great comeback from Louis Jesus after what seemed like Kisu's game pretty convincingly. I think this was the, yeah, the up air to catch the header. And let's see. Louis Jesus' kills. Oh, no, that was still the header. Don't sound like the present. All right, so Kisu just bringing it right back to Pokemon Stadium 2, which I agree with. Kisu did fantastically in the first two stocks of game one. So, you know, just play it out. Figure out what went wrong with you. Be the change you want to see in the world. But right now, Louis Jesus is the one who's being that change, seeing a lot of adaptations from game one and a completely different uh, beginning to this game two than what we saw in game one. Isu already at 89% and Louis Jesus has control of center stage. Isu trying to find some sort of way in, getting these thunder charges. Levin Sword now offline. Now stuck the ledge again, but a nice uh, get up attack to get Kisu some space. Ooh, what an air dodge on the Nosferatu. That would have been a fat heal, especially as these uh, percents start building for Kisu. All right, deep breathing back throw, putting Kisu in a bad situation. Deep breathing now offline again. Kisu gets to breathe a little sigh of relief of their own. That back air absolutely would have killed. 
Ooh, a nice spacing on the arc fire, and Kisu is actually going to be able to convert that into a stock. Dude, you can't let arc fire touch even your shield sometimes, especially no. if it's the top of your shield. If it touches the side, then it's fine, because then you could just drop shield and run away. But woof, that would have been a lot of healing if he nailed that. Mm -hmm. Because people don't know this, Robin heals more if she is at a percent deficit, even if she's winning by stocks. Hitting it while being down 180 like that, she could have healed 50 off that one interaction. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Most Frosty heals a disgusting amount. Right now, Kisu, Kisu with the lead, able to start setting up that wall. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, soccer ball saves. All right, I I like I like the patience coming out from Louis Jesus. Wasn't scared into rolling or doing anything unadvised, so not getting hit by that up smash. Almost getting hit by Dead? the L Thunder. What a delay from Kisu. Back air? Another back air? No. Nope. Running back and setting up the L Thunder. Has book. the book, but a, a soft throw. So throwing it's, some it's fine, gone. throwing some fine literature at Louis. Back throw. Not going to be taking it just yet, but I don't know uh, if you can't Jesus can take another one. Can't deep breathe against Robin offstage, because that happens. Hello, Ida. Turn around? No turn around. Just... What a delay on the fast fall from Kisu to just barely mix up Louis Jesus' timing. That was so oh. good from Kisu. Back here? No back here. Nice. Could have picked up the book, too, but whatever. Weefit's not here to Oof. read. She's here to get fit. <laughs> Where do you work out? The library. He's us. Uh, back air? Kisu was really hungry for back air. He breathes. Oh my god, it was the late back air. Arc fire. Another one. Does Louis have. No! Ooh. Down throw and Louis D's, D.I.'s in. Serves up. Gotta get out of there. Can't. <laughs> Boom! Oh, catches the jump, and that is gonna be Kisu taking game two. A very pitched set, to be sure. Wait. That's not the end of the set? Wait, did... What? No. Oh, Louis... that was the first game. Yeah, what no, the... Luigi... What? No, Luigi just took game one. Wait. What? No. This is... That was game two. Uh, John? No. John numbers? My god. Oh my god. Now How did I... What? How did I not notice this? What the... <laughs> Bro, was I really not paying attention while I was making uploads? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Whatever. Game game three, game guys. Game three. I'm sorry for not updating the scores. Three, Holy crap. Two, one, go. So, yeah, the scores are 1-1, one, one, and uh, Louis Jesus' counterpick is going to be Town and City over PS2. So, the... Wow. That's a lot of arc fires. Ooh, okay. All right, kind of some scramble situations right now. Kisu getting another arc fire, converting it into an up smash off of that platform. And I think the book actually extended the hitbox of the header spike. And I think that was the Levin sword that actually uh, uh, took Louis Jesus's first stock. Kisu now with a stock lead. We're gonna be seeing if he can really start setting up that wall of pressure that we saw before. A miss or a, maybe a miss input in Osferatu means Louis Jesus is going to be taking stock one, keeping things competitive, and already getting a nice uh, down throw combo. Maybe throwing Sun Salutation the wrong way. Oh, what a reset by Kisu, but unfortunately not able to get anything after the first arc fire. Now we're looking at an even game. Luigi's Jesus with a little bit of a percent deficit, but no arc fire on Kisu means he's not able to set up that same uh, ledge pressure that we saw before. All right, some great spacing by Kisu to put it off of uh, put it off the ledge, but the uh, <laughs> just barely getting the uh, back air to take Luigi's Jesus' second stock right now. <laughs> John is being lectured for putting Stage Hazard's name on stream. Oh no! 
looks like I'm listening to Dad get mad. Ooh, but Louis Jesus. Yeah, I'm upset. <laughs> Louis <laughs> Jesus right now is mad. Taking Kisu's second stock, bringing this to a last stock situation here in game three. Louis Jesus getting some huge damage with some deep breathing combos. Gonna see if Kisu can start setting up that pressure again. The platforms are coming back, but it's the, uh, the Kalos style platforms. Oh my god. God, what percent was Louis Jesus at before getting hit by that arc fire? I've got your back. I was like maybe 60 that he just got clipped by it. Let's see. Yeah, Louis Jesus gets sent off stage by the neutral air. Oof. Yeah, a really intense set between Kisu and Luigi. Jesus. That was that was a fun one to watch. Some very heavily shifting momentum between the two. And next up we have